Welcome to this presentation of the LAGD1000, the purpose of which is to give you basic product, installation and operation information. The SKF Multipoint Automatic Lubricator LAGD1000 series enable up to 20 points to be lubricated. With a 1 kg grease capacity, the LAGD1000 is suitable for many applications and can be filled with a number of SKF greases. The LAGD1000 is supplied in a sturdy carton box and comes complete with mounting accessories and parts to enable the grease points to be lubricated. The contents include the LAGD1000 pump unit, mounting bolts and washers, a pipe filling nipple, 50 meters of pipe to connect to the application, 11 straight connectors, 11 right angle connectors, a connection bar, and cable ties to fix a lubrication pipe. All outlets from the LAGD1000 must be connected to ensure correct operation. If for instance you only want to use 9 outlets of a 10 outlet LAGD1000 then the connection bar can be used. The connection bar allows two outlets to be joined to become one. After mounting the LAGD1000 pump unit to a firm surface using the fittings provided and connecting to the correct power supply, the unit can be prepared for use. Refer to the instructions for use provided to help ensure that the unit is prepared correctly. To determine the correct grease type in unit settings, loop select for SKF greases can be used amongst other methods. Once the correct grease has been selected, then the LAGD1000 reservoir must be filled. This can be done using a grease filler pump or by using a standard grease gun. The grease gun should be applied to the reservoir filling nipple. Use even strokes to fill the reservoir until all the air is purged. When air-free grease is seen emerging from the reservoir overflow, then the reservoir is properly filled. Next, the progressive divider must be filled with grease. Apply the grease gun to the filling nipple mounted on the safety valve. And apply even strokes. until grease emerges from all the outlets. The final stage is to connect the lubrication pipes to the unit. Measure and cut the pipes to the correct length. Then fit the grease filling nipple. Apply the grease gun and pump until grease emerges from the other end. The filled pipes can now be pushed into the connectors on the divider block. All outlets must be used. The other end of the pipe is connected to the application using the nipples provided. The unit is now ready for use, but the programming should be checked and altered if necessary. Always refer to the instructions for use before altering settings on the LAGD1000. The battery paired unit is programmed in a similar but different way from the AC and DC versions. The unit in this presentation is an AC powered version. To check the current programming parameters, press the up arrow briefly to activate the display. TPA is shown on the display, showing that the unit is in pause mode. Press the up arrow again. 10.0 is displayed, showing the remaining pause time in hours of the current lubrication cycle. Press again. 10.0 is displayed showing the preset total pause time of 10 hours. Press again and TCO is displayed. This will show the programming for the pump running time in minutes. Press again and three dashes are seen. This means that the unit is in pause mode and the pump is not currently running. Press again and 1.6 is seen, corresponding to the preset pump running time in minutes. Press again and COP corresponding to the system monitoring mode is seen. Press once more and CS is displayed, showing that the unit is monitored by a cycle switch. Press again and OH is displayed, corresponding to the unit's total operating time in hours. Press and press and 000 plus 00.1 hours is the total operating time. Press again and FH is displayed corresponding to the unit's total fault time in hours. 
press and press and 000 plus 000, .00 hours is the total fault time. Press again briefly and the display is turned off. Now that we know the unit settings we can decide whether to change the programming or not. In this instance we will change the pause and running time of the unit. Press the set button for about two seconds and the programming mode is accessed. 000 is displayed showing that the programming mode is entered. Press set again. TPA is displayed. Press set and the current program pause time of 10 hours is shown. Using the app arrow key this is adjusted to 11 hours and confirmed by pressing set. TCO is displayed. Press set and the current programmed pump running time of 1.6 minutes is shown. Using the up arrow key this is adjusted to 2 minutes and confirmed by set. COP is then displayed but we don't want to change this. So set is pressed for 2 seconds and the programming mode is exited. The unit has now been programmed and will run according to the new parameters. The LAGD1000 has now been properly installed, set up and programmed and will continue to provide effective lubrication to the application. For more information on the SKF multipoint automatic lubricator range, contact your local SKF representative or visit our website at mapro.skf.com.